winter two three p two. Okay. So a capacitor is charged so that the potential difference across the terminals is eight volt. Capacitor is connected into the circuit of figure six point one. Cool beans. Switch was initially open. The switch is closed at time t equal to zero. Okay, so I charge the capacitor to eight volt. Nowhere is a positive charge, but it doesn't really matter. So it has some charge here. Okay. And then I close the charge. I mean, I close the switch. When I close the switch, it will discharge. So here is how the V and Q of the capacitor changes as the capacitor discharge. Now, if I'm a student or if I'm you, I'm looking at the graph and I go like, bro. Normally, we prefer to have the dependent variable, the charge on the x-axis, I mean, on the y-axis, and the independent variable, which is the variable. But sure, sure. Second thing I will circle is the micro here, okay? I also want you to know that whether it's charging or discharging, the capacitor graph will look the same because if it's discharging, it is just, the graph is just traveling in this direction. This is discharge. If it's charging, then it will discharge up the same line. This is charge. Make sense, ma'am? If first I started with this much charge, I started with 450, 450? Yay. So if I draw Q against T, I start with 450 micro coulomb. Then you need... I don't know what's the time now, but it will go down. Okay. Show that the energy stored in the capacitor at T equal to zero is 1.8 millijoule. So T equal to zero is here because we're discharging. T equal to zero here. here. So to find energy stored, I have Q, I have V, I'm going to use half Q. So Q would be 450, negative six. V is eight. So if I poke, my calculator, I will get 1.8 times 10 to the power negative 3 joule, which is 1.8 mini joule. My friend, if you want to shade the area, if they ever ask you to shade the area, is this area. Okay. Energy is integration QD. So between the graph and the V-axis. All right, moving on. I know you press calculator, you get the same answer. But in case you're asked to shade, or God forbid, in case they draw a curve and ask you to estimate the area, adjust accordingly. Anyway, part two, determine the capacitance of a capacitor C. I don't know about you, but I realized that in 2023, they keep asking students to write unit. Is it because we have forgotten all our units maybe? So please know your units, huh? Hello. Anyway, capacitance is farad. So U equals CV. 450 times 10 to the power negative 6. C V is 8. Is it 8? Charge to 8. Yeah, 8. So C would be equivalent to 5.6 times 10 to the power of negative 5. Sure, I don't want to use the initial value, can I? Can I just take any point on the graph? Can you take like, this point? So can take any point you want, uh, as long as it's on the line. Any point will do. Okay. So the marks here would be write the equation or use area under the graph, one mark. Substitution, one mark. The second one would be uh, this substitution, one mark. Final answer, including the unit, one mark. All right, B. Oh, look at this spicy graph. X is kind of strange, but show that T is equal to one constant when the value of this is equal to 1.0. Okay, so let's start with a possible equation, right? This is V, ln V against T. Well, I got a V equation. 
it looks like this. V is equal to V naught E negative T over RC. You can copy from the formula page. I want a lot, but before I do that, you see this eight volt. This eight volt is the initial voltage, right? Before I discharge. So this is actually V over eight point zero V, E negative T over Rs. And bring it over. Okay, this V. Let me let me write first, uh, and then I will tell you the danger. This V is a variable. Potential difference across capacitor. This V is a unit volt. My dudes, you don't cancel a potential, you don't answer an unknown with a unit. Uh. Teacher, how I know, okay, if you zoom in and you stack carefully at these two V, one is italic and one is not. I know, right? If only I could see your faces. This V is italic. Italic means it represents a physical quantity. We don't talk much about this because, to be honest, when you write how to write italic, la, I don't even know what that means. Okay, This V is not italic, so it's a unit. Yeah. I mean, just, just continue to look at it carefully. Okay, do not cancel the V. All right, so I bring over and divide. Exponent bring over become ln. So this happens to be my y axis. Oh, looks like it. I'll bring over the negative sign later. I'm not too, not too worried about that. This is negative t over rc. So I have negative ln bracket v. I'm not going to even try to write italic, OK? t over rc. When t is equal to one time constant, one rc, negative ln v over 8.0 v is equal to rc over rc, which is one. OK, where are the marks? You write this general equation correctly. And then you know time constant is rc. You get one mark. And then you substitute 8 volt inside and you do the right manipulation to arrive at this answer is one mark. So the first mark is basically V is V naught. You see all the relevant equation, uh, you at least know them. Time constant is RC. This is the first mark. Okay. The second mark is when you start putting in values. You put 8 volt, substitute RC inside here. You know, two marks. Hmm. This means I can read one. Dot, 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 dot. Dun, 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 dun. This one looks like 3.2. This is equal to time constant. Okay. Oh, I'm glad you asked. Time constant is equal to 3.2 second when ln v over 8.0 v is one. If you can't even if you can't do the first part, you can still you can still read. Just take it as a given. Next, calculate the resistance of R. Hmm, T equal to R C. We got the time constant. We have the capacitance, we just calculated it here. 5.6 times 10 to the power negative 5. So from here, you can put your calculator and you'll get 5.7 times 10 to the power 